I'm standing on the deck of an icebreaker in Kola Bay. That's an estuary just north of the Arctic Circle, which runs from Murmansk in Russia up into the Barents Sea over there. Uh, it's dark now. The sun will be up in, uh, well, in about two months because it's polar night here. But just because daylight has gone doesn't mean that industry here has stopped. The Great Northern Sea Route runs right across the Arctic just past here. It's one of the world's crucial arteries, allowing tankers like this one to carry fuel from one half of the planet to the other. But everyone is very aware that the Arctic is also a crucial, delicate ecosystem. And the great challenge for the industry now is how to make this sustainable. The town of Murmansk in northern Russia is the largest north of the Arctic Circle. It's a town that's built around its port, which is a crucial stop on any journey through the Arctic. Operating ships in this part of the world is no easy task, but the payoffs are considerable, not least when it comes to sustainability. The Northern Sea Route links Northern Europe to Northeast Asia and means cargo can be transported right across the Arctic. That's some 30% faster than the existing route through the Suez Canal, representing a huge saving in emissions. And that's something that shipping companies like Sovcom Flot, which operates the world's largest ice-class fleet, are acutely aware of. We understand that sustainability is of prime relevance and we act accordingly. This is why Sovcom Flot vessels feature state-of-the-art equipment and cutting-edge engineering solutions, such as Azipod units and other ABB products. They increase the vessel's performance and make voyages safer, which helps to reduce the environmental impact. And the technology is crucially important here. In the past, the ship travelling through this area had to travel with a second icebreaker vessel to help it navigate through the terrain. But with Azipod propulsion, that's no longer necessary. With an Azipod, the ship can turn around and break through ice more than two metres thick, completely on its own, making safe travel through the Arctic a possibility. ABB has now opened a remote service centre here in Murmansk to cater to these Russian vessels in their own language and culture. Following an electric, digital, connected strategy, this technology can be serviced remotely, globally, 24-7. Uh, the digital connectivity is extremely important, very much due to the fact that um, when you have these um, uh, ships working in, in here on the Northern Passage, and then suddenly you have some uh, troubles. When the ships are connected, we can support them. We have a uh, thousand plus vessels that are connected and we can see all the time what's happening on board. Even before the crew knows, we know that there is something ongoing. So we can contact them, we can tell them, hey, have a look at this water level on the drive or this and that, and uh, let's fix it before it stops your operation. Azipod propulsion offers up to 20% fuel savings compared to conventional shaft line propulsion even before you factor in the savings from these shorter routes. Since the technology was introduced in 1990, it's accumulated more than 17 million running hours and saved over a million tonnes of fuel. For shipping companies determined to raise sustainability, it's a crucial piece of the puzzle for how to make Arctic sea routes viable.